everyone. My name is Erin Vanwell and I'm the co-director of fire management with the Watershed Research and Training Center, a nonprofit located in Trinity County, California. I've spent the last 15 years of my career studying fire effects. I've worked as an ecologist, prescribed fire practitioner, wildland firefighter, and fuels manager all across the United States. And I still feel like I have endless knowledge to gain. Why is it important to understand fire effects? As a fire practitioner, it's critical to understand the importance of fire effects. When we implement prescribed fires, the whole reason why we're burning is for the effects of the fire. Whether our goals of the burn are to reduce hazardous fuels in the wildland urban interface, for wildlife habitat restoration, or to reintroduce fire back into the landscape, the goals and objectives of the burn are directly linked to the effects of the fire. What are the barriers to understanding fire effects? Well, one barrier would be not having SMART objectives for your prescribed fire. SMART stands for specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely. Without SMART objectives, we're not able to understand what fire effects we want post-fire. Another barrier would be incomplete or lack of monitoring pre and post burn. Because again, without being able to monitor the effects of our fire, we don't know whether we're meeting those SMART objectives. And then the last one would be not being a student of fire. It's really important throughout your fire career to be a good student of fire. It takes a lifetime to learn the effects of fuels, topography, and weather, and how those impact fire behavior, which then in turn impacts your fire effects. What future circumstances make understanding fire effects even more important? Well, as we all know, the wildland urban interface continues to expand. We continue to suppress wildfires. Fuel loading is increasing, and we continue to depart further and further from historic fire regimes. Wildfire seasons are growing longer, and it's becoming dire to implement more fuels treatment and prescribe fire across the landscape. As we continue to increase the use and scale of good fire across the landscape, it's critical to understand the importance of fire effects because fire can have both negative and positive long-term effects on the ecosystem. As a fire practitioner, how can we incorporate more fire effects into fire management? Say the most important and easiest way is to prioritize monitoring. Time and time again, I've seen complex, robust monitoring systems fall short due to lack of time, personnel, and funding. We can simplify these fire monitoring programs by simply taking photo points in representative areas of the prescribed fire, both pre and post burn, and over time to see whether we are or are not meeting objectives of the burn. I think another way we can incorporate more fire effects into fire management is to just be good students of fire. Take time to learn diversity and ignition patterns how to manipulate fire behavior and fire intensity. And this all turns back into fire effects. And lastly, learn from your mistakes and mentor others. There will be a day where you're on the fire line and you accidentally torch your favorite tree. Be willing to learn from your mistakes and move on. Carry that with you throughout the rest of your career.